defense look amazing. Uh, was that something you think you worked on in this past year since we've seen you last season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I need to thank uh, my coaches, um, Frank Hickman, John Wood, Syndicate MMA, Mike Pyle, um, and uh, Nate Pitt Pettit uh, from Extreme, uh, who I worked tirelessly with um, over details, and uh, Kate Drake, and of course all my training partners that helped me up against there and, and uh, gave me that work uh, to be uh, victorious in this moment tonight. So. Yeah, and unfortunately the wake up didn't go the way you wanted to. Uh, what do you think went wrong and what do you think you can do better next time for that not to happen? Yeah. Um, it was a tough, tough night. Um, I tried till the very last few minutes, um, and yeah, my body just stopped producing and shut down. And uh, yeah, it was a rough night. The first flush came off great, and then um, yeah, I stopped producing the sweat. And even after that, we were trying until the bitter end. And, and look, um, unfortunately, this one will be tarnished by that because I did miss weight and. Um, and uh, you know the consequences of that um, I have to you know take on the chin so to speak because um, yeah it's not acceptable. Congratulations on the win so you came as the underdog on this fight uh, a lot of people were putting Julia over you like even in the betting odds um, we see that you kind of hear multiple times that you crumble a little bit were you surprised on how much um, she crumbled in second and third round with your uh, punches? Um, not really. I, I knew I was a better striker. I know that I had um, a lot more pop and, and, and range on her and if I established and used that correctly that I would have the advantage in that area. Um, it was just a matter of me being disciplined. Um, I, you know, um, I knew that um, but she's, you know, um, an ex world champion fought the best in the world. She's a tough opponent. That was a tough fight, you know. Uh, so um, uh, I knew it would probably go the distance just because she's so seasoned. This is my sixth MMA fight, and to face someone of her caliber is, um, is and to come out victorious is, is, um, is a big moment for me. At the press conference, I asked you how much you learned from Kayla Harrison fight beating Julia, one of the uh, best female fighters. How much you learn in that fight? Against Julia? Yeah. Yeah, um, man, uh, I'll have to, you know, let it digest and go back and watch the tape and see uh, moments where I did, uh, where I was uh, successful and I made improvements and advancements since that last fight. And then also uh, things to, to know and work on for next time. I already know some things like, uh, don't get there <laughs> in the first place if I don't want to be there. I know I can hang there and I'll put the tools to turn people off and, and, and defensively get out of those positions. So that's a big plus of things that I worked on from that since that fight with Kayla. Um, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll, we'll go back, my coaches and I, and we'll assess and, and uh, game plan and, and just, you know, elevate and tighten things up for next fight. Yeah. Congrats, games. Jenna. Um, is this a bittersweet victory for you because you missed weight? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, like I said, the win will be tarnished by the fact that I miss weight. Um, and that's just not acceptable and something I'm not proud of. And um, I'm really fortunate to the PFL that they were um, amazing in pushing this fight to still happen today. Uh, as well as my opponent, Julia. I really want to thank her for uh, still accepting to fight me today. Because, um, it could, uh, you know, I could have lost out big time um, by uh, not being able to fight tonight. So. Was there anything that uh, you were surprised in the ring now with her? No, no. Uh, she was what I thought. It's exactly what I thought she'd be. She's ready. She's tough. I knew that she would try to stand only to lull me in to try to get me to the cage. That's where she likes to be in her corner up against the cage, listening to her coaches and, and pointing off and trying to take down from there. Um, I just had to really hold patient, really hold my position um, to then get off and, 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 and pick my moments. It wasn't going to be uh, an easy fight for me on the cage because that's where she typically likes to be and, and, uh, and get her opponents. So I had to find patience and, and uh, hold through the fire. Uh, to, 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 to successfully stop her from doing what she wanted to do. Jennifer, congrats on the win again tonight. Um, 
we talked a little bit earlier this week about the difference in experience uh, between yourself and Julia and um, just kind of the steps that you took uh, mentally and physically to get to this point. How, um, how does it feel getting this win tonight over an experienced fighter and what does that say in terms of where you are at? Yeah, um, probably the first one in my career so far. You know, six fights in, six fight against Julia Budd, um, ex world Tour champion, the side of Fort Ronda, Fort Amanda, many other names, Ali Blanco, all those girls in the Tour and, and Strike Force. So, um, you know, this is something that um, I win that, that it means a lot to me to get over her. Um, amazing opponent, amazing pioneer and fighter. So, um, to share the page with her is a great experience for me. Um, but yeah, uh, so what you said. Oh, just in terms of your development, uh, what does that say in terms of what you're doing? Yeah, um, I'm only like elevating and growing, but I said earlier in the week that like that loss against Kayla um, only elevated me and motivated me and drove me to, to, to level up and um, put myself in those pretty ugly positions where I don't want to be, or not even don't want to be, but I, I have lack of experience in skills the majority grapplers with grappling backgrounds, heavy grappling backgrounds, so they're great at what they do. Um, but uh, yeah, it only it only forced me to get better, um, and, and I will never ever see another fight. fight. Um, you know, lack of experience or not, I will always make sure that they give me, and that was the case tonight. First first round, Julia Boat, all right, let's go, and prepared accordingly. But before we even got the name, you know, uh, Two months ago, whenever it was, I was doing that. I was putting in the work since that last fight against Kayla. I flew back Friday. I was in the gym Monday and have not stopped. And I've taken since that time. I've not wasted this time and, and, and developing my game and getting better and, and, and leveling up my grappling and, and all work. So uh, a lot of that showed tonight. Thank you. Awesome points. And Jenna, from, just from a mental perspective, even though you didn't get the victory over Kayla Harrison, you have opened Pandora's box in that sense where you faced her. Now you've got the W over what a lot of people looked at as the number two seed coming into the season. From a mental perspective, how does that feed you going into the season, knowing that you have faced the best of the best in the game? Yeah, um, and, and that's why like, I relish in that because I was like, all right, they'll give it me Julia. Hardest fight in the first round, I believe. Um, hardest matchup, and I was like, let's go with deep in this. Like, give it to me now. And, you know, like uh, I mentioned earlier on the week, a good friend uh, of mine said, just when you're afraid to jump, that's the time you should jump. And that's exactly what, um, when I found out it was Julia, I was like, we're doing it, let's go. First round, let's kick it off. I don't want to wait till the semis, wait till the finals or whatever to, um, to you know, face that caliber of opponent or straight in there and um, yeah, just happy with the result. Congratulations. Jenna, congratulations. Two quick ones here. One is, uh, so coming in, you only have six professional fights compared to 19. Coming in as a slight betting underdog. Uh, did that play into you? Like, did that bother you at all going in, or is that just out of sight, out of mind? Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. Honestly, is how I approach it because what can, I can't, uh, what can I do about it except for prepare accordingly and believe in myself and believe in my team and believe in the work I've done. Um, and I had to keep reminding myself of that. So it's like you have been training with some of the best. You're coached by some of the best. I believe in my team. I believe um, in the work that that they put into me, the work I produce. So I had to remind myself of that. You've been here. You, you're uh, training with men and, and women that are just as strong, like, like just better than this. So you've been in these positions, believe in that, believe in the work you believe in, um, you know, myself, numbers and stats and things like that. Of course, play, you know, play a part, but they can't affect you, so uh, that's how I approached it. Nice. And uh, so just talking a little bit about the fight, so Julie was able to get a takedown there in the first. And after that, you stopped one in the second, and it ne never again. Did, did that give you a big boat of confidence? You know, being able to stop that takedown in the second and implement your game plan the rest of the way. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I could, I could feel the slump. You know, when you, and, and it was a gritty little moment. Like it's not like I popped straight up straight away. She was on me, and she was pressuring me forward. And thankfully, got to the cage and, and was able to get some wrist control and and, and and just get my leg back on that cage to, to work my way up and reverse her. So um, I had to fight through a bit of, a bit of grit to, to, to reverse that one. And I knew once I did that, 
okay, but, uh, she's not going to want to be, like they took a lot out of her and when we stood up I could feel it and I could see it and I think I got a few off uh, on the strike so that's when I knew okay, okay, if it goes here again I'm good and um, it probably won't because it took a lot out of her so it was a, it was a big confidence booster. Good, excellent performance, thank you. Thank you. Jenna, going forward, um, obviously the weight miss affects you in the standings and given the format of the season, is that going to have to change your approach going forward? You know, more urgency to get a finish to kind of make up for the weight miss today? Yeah, <laughs> it's going to have to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's, and that's, and that's, that's the, that's uh, just the, that's the way the cookie's going to crumble for me. So, um, you know, I, I, I messed up and I have to take accountability uh, for that for that error. And um, uh, yeah, the second one has to be a good one <laughs> for me to advance and get into the playoffs, which is all I'm going for this year. <laughs> Scale of 1 to 10, how would you grade your performance tonight? Um, I, I am going to have to go back and, and watch it. I know there's so much more in me, um, but the first one was like, be Julia Bud. Be, be Julia Bud. Um, stop reading a game, which I did. I felt like I did. But there would definitely be things to take from it and, and to advance, and that I'll be able to uh, be a lot more, um, uh, have a lot more juice and, and confidence going into the second one, for sure. But um, um, the mission was accomplished in terms of in the cage tonight, for sure. Right. Hey, Jenna, Eugene has a reputation for developing some of the best strikers in the world. Tell us a, bit, a little bit what it's like to work with someone with that pedigree. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's, um, we call him the evil genius, for sure. He ciphers down game plans um, and opponents to a T, him and our, and our coaching team. Um, it's not just him, he's got a whole team behind him. and. Um, they work tirelessly and what they, they 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 study for us and then they make sure our training and our and our uh, training partners are suited to that upcoming um, opponent or fight. So we leave it in the hands of them and, and we trust them, uh, you know, fully. We, we just they don't they don't really get us to watch too much tape um, and things like that. We, we leave it in their hands and um, all they want us to do is show up and do the work and they put us through it, you know. Um, his, his approach is uh, physical and mental warfare so that uh, there's no surprises or no shocks or no you know feelings of um, anxiety when we get in there and the rest is up to us but um, yeah I, I, I truly I know a lot of people say this about their coaches and team but we truly have uh, the best leaders of the world behind us so uh, it, I'm, I'm just fortunate to, to be a part of that. Thank you. Yeah. On Wednesday, you basically said that beating Kayla Harrison is the most important thing to you. Is that making it tough for you to, to prepare for a fighter like Kayla Bud? Um, no, it helps because uh, they're kind of similar um, in a lot of aspects. Um, obviously, they've got some slightly different uh, uh, skill sets, uh, but uh, she, to me, is, is, is on the same caliber as Kayla. Um, and, you know, haven't gone up against her last year. Um, to, to hopefully be able to get my, my chance of facing her again will be something that I'll be that much more prepared for. Um, so that's a goal to meet her again and be I'm sure you put on so much work here in your crap. Do you feel like you evolved even more today being in there with Julia Webb? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, all credit to Julia. She's an amazing opponent. And um, uh, to get that win and, and, and stop her game um, and shut that down tonight. Uh, the confidence booster in my game for sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Jenna, you mentioned only a few select people that beat Julia Budd, Ronda Rousey, Amanda Nunes. Looking a little bit long term, where do you want to leave your legacy as far as women's mixed martial arts? I want to be the one, the best 155er in the world and won this PFL tournament this year. And that's, that is my goal for this year, and I'm not looking past that. Um, I actually have a love uh, about the a love for boxing as well, so that is something I want to pursue. Um, you know, at some point um, after I've made, it's just an itch I want to scratch, and uh, I really, I really love the sweet science and have developed a big, a big love for it. So um, it's something I want to you know, endeavour to do also. But um, you know, to be the PFL five Women's World Champion this year. Is, um, Any uh, mixed rules matches with Clarissa Shields maybe set up for the future? Yeah, 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 maybe, maybe. She's uh, 
best women's boxer in the world. Um, that's a tough order. And, you know, I won't disrespect her and, and, and say I'm there yet uh, in terms of boxing, but, um, you know, we'll see where her MMA is and if she's going to step in with any of us, I would love to fight her. Um, I have respect for her, but yeah, I'll take that challenge against anyone. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Is it? Yeah, that's what, I do have a question. Um, when y'all were on the ground, do you think you could have finished the fight? When you went, when y'all were on the ground? Yes, yeah, I do. And I saw red. I can hear Eugene just get up. Don't don't try to be the wrestler and grappler you've been training to be. You just say, just be smart, get up, and, and get where you want it. There was that moment of seeing red, but I. Uh, I had to tune in to Eugene and listen to the corner to just not put myself in uh, any, any bad situations and just hold, hold tight and, uh, and be collectively smart in this, this fight. Congratulations again. Thank you.